For three months, they've worked seven-day weeks, a small team with the huge ambition of beating the virus. Today, they drew closer. Well, this is an absolutely critical step on the pathway because it shows that the vaccine does make a good immune response. And the most plausible way of ending the pandemic is through vaccination. And these new results give us hope that we're going in the right direction. The Oxford vaccine is made from a weakened version of a common cold virus that affects chimpanzees. It's been modified so it can't cause disease in humans and has already been used as a platform for several other vaccines. Within it, the genetic code for the coronavirus surface spike protein. After vaccination, the body produces antibodies and T-cells that recognise those spikes. In future, if infected by coronavirus, the immune system will know how to repel them, protecting the individual. There are still questions for the team here about the level of protection provided, but the answer everyone really wants is when widespread vaccination might be possible. Your team members have spoken before about autumn. Is that still a possibility? It's, it's still a possibility. I mean, the lockdown here in the UK was fantastically effective. We, we saw this big reduction in cases, uh, which has saved lives without any doubt. Um, but that does slow the process down. So we, we need more time in the UK in order to be able to demonstrate protection. To try to speed things along, stage three trials are already underway, not only in the UK, but also in places like Brazil, where there are far more cases. Among the volunteers given either the vaccine or a placebo is this young medical student. It's really good, like obviously only a tiny, tiny part of, um, of the vaccine trial, but it feels good that I've kind of just put myself forward to hopefully provide some valuable data towards the vaccine trial. The UK has already ordered 100 million doses of the vaccine, but even if everything goes to plan, there's still caution about the timing. I got my fingers crossed, but to say that I'm 100% confident that we'll get a vaccine uh, this year or indeed next year uh, is, alas, just uh, you know, an exaggeration. We're not there yet. But we may be drawing closer, and how this vaccine performs now in much wider tests might just determine how long we have to wait for some kind of normality. Rachel Younger, ITV News, Oxford.